More than 8,000 people, including several leading Catholic voices, gathered in a small town in upstate New York over the weekend. The New York State Eucharistic Congress was a 40-hour event at the Shrine of Our Lady of the Martyrs in Orisville, New York. Speakers included Cardinal Timothy Dolan, Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly from the Knights of Columbus, and Bishop Joseph S. Payette, the youngest Espaillat. bishop in the United States. And we go now to one of the participants, Catherine Jean Lopez, Senior Fellow at the National Review Institute. Catherine Jean, great to be with you as always. Um, tell you. us about this a Eucharistic Congress uh, that took place over the past weekend, and what were some of the highlights? Well, it was truly amazing. I'm on the board of the uh, Shrine of Our Lady of, of the Martyrs up there. And um, it's so it was so amazing to see 8,500 people was the final count on those holy grounds where three of the Jesuit martyrs were brutally murdered, trying to bring the gospel, trying to bring Jesus in the Eucharist. Um, to the Native Americans who, who lived there. And Isaac Jogues, as many many who are watching may, may know, when he his fingers were mutilated, he wound up going back to France, petitioning to the Pope to, uh, to have permission to celebrate Mass, even without his fingers, critical fingers, um, the thumb and the in index finger. And... Uh, he went back. He went back and ultimately died on these these beautiful holy grounds. Ten years later, Saint Kateri Tekawitha was born there. It's a, a really amazing holy place where Christ is always present. But this weekend, having the Eucharistic Lord uh, being processed around the grounds by. Um, many priests, many bishops, and so many uh, pious people, and, and they ran the gamut, too, which was so beautiful. Actually, Tracy, besides seeing Jesus walking, being processed around the grounds, one of the great blessings of being on the, the board of the shrine is um, I was behind the scenes, and uh, there was a collection taken, as collections are taken at Mass, and um, to help support the shrine. And there was an envelope, and it said 1.00 pesos, and it was a dollar in coins. So that was the widow's mite of some family that came up there. And uh, that, was, that was just so humbling um uh, my, my eyes you know welled up as as i saw that because people love jesus so much they they will not only make the sacrifice to go to the middle of nowhere in new york state honestly but um but also to to give a, an offering um in uh to glorify our, our lord yeah catherine i have to say i mean i can just tell how moved you were to be there and how much that meant to you um I'm sure others as well. Tell us a little bit about that and why this initiative on the Eucharist and adoration, why it's so needed right now. Well, this was the New York participation in the run-up to next summer's um, Eucharistic revival in Indianapolis. And, um, you know, what... I had a little book signing while I was there for my book, A Year with the Mystics. And um, and I really loved that because I was able to set up a table. And even if people didn't buy books, um, they, they had conversations with me, some who knew me from, from various media or people who just wanted to talk. And so many people said to me, what's happening to our world, <laughs> you know? And, um, and their participation in being a solution to Ukraine, to Israel, to us not having a speaker of the house and, a, a, and our a, you know, future presidential election, all, all of the madness, um, even you know, their, their own children who they're praying back into the church or whatever it is, they felt like they were doing something, 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 and realizing that you know, we can rely on Christ. And, and uh, I, I know, even personally, a couple of things happened there that were uh, 
just clear signs to me that God was telling me in my little trip up there from New York City, you know, trust me more um, and come to me more. And that's why this Eucharistic re revival is so important, because we so often live as practical atheists. Um, you know, we, we try to be um, be our own saviors and saviors for the people in our lives. Uh, but we we obviously need to do our our work, you know, um, but rely on God, rely on God. He's a faithful God who has made these awesome promises and comes to us in the Eucharist every day. Catherine Jane, thank you so much. And we needed to hear this message today. So great to have you on and thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you.